Hey guys, Firebird JP, and I have another video for you people. So, you all know what this is going to be about, so just brace for impact right now. I bought this, I want to say, a week ago, and it just came in the mail yesterday. And what I have to show you is something very special, something that I couldn't believe I got my hands on, but it's incomplete, but it's still pretty awesome for how much I got it for. So, what I have today with me is the MSA Miner's Gas Mask. Really, really cool thing. Oh my gosh, this thing is so sweet. Um, this mask was made for miners. Obviously, MSA stands for Miner Safety Association, I believe. And, yep, these were given to miners. Now, as you can see, there is no filter. That's the incomplete part about it. It didn't come with a filter. Kind of bummed out about it, but I guess if I look around, I can find one. Um, here we got the really big eye pieces. Got the uh, XL valve slash flapper valve. We got the hose. We got uh, straps. Very cool. Um, this mask is a little scruffed up. There's a little bit of dirt and a little bit of dust on it, but cleaned up all right. I didn't want to clean it up way too much. I wanted to keep it looking vintage. Um, now, along with the mask, a lot of you know that this mask comes with a box. And you bet your sweet ass I got the box. Pretty cool, huh? Let's talk about the mask a little bit and I'll show you a little bit more of the box. I'll take the mask off the mannequin head. The straps, they work very much like the uh, Israeli civilian and the other Israeli masks. They got the little rubber like grooves in there. So when you undo it, it like kind of like snaps a little, it makes a weird little noise. Excuse the foam noise. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Okay. There it is. Show you the inside of the mask. There's nothing really to the inside. It's very, very simple. There's really nothing really in there. So, very simple. Um, not really too much I know about this mask. I believe this one was made in the 70s. I know there are a lot later models of the MSA mask for miners, but I'm not really sure on this one. It's beyond me, to be honest. There are some markings on the mask. They are really hard to read. A lot of dirt and scuff. Mostly illegible. But they're still there, still cool. As you can see, the mask is still... Some mask, as you notice, it doesn't retain like the face shape. It kind of just like folds in on itself. That's why I had it on the mannequin, I had to try to keep it like... Hopefully like it'll go back to its face shape. It's only because it's been in the box, so... Which reminds me. I'm going to show you guys the box now, so I'm going to take the camera off the tripod, show you a little bit of the box. There we go. Take this out. Alright, we got the box here. Move it over. Pretty cool, pretty cool. A lot of the stuff is still very uh, eligible. Still read it just fine. There's not, it's rusted, but it's not way too bad. Some of the other ones get pretty bad. There's paint marks on it. And you can tell there is some on the mask. There's some on the lens right there. Some on the side, right here. But I think it adds a character, so. 
whatever, still really good in condition. So, let's open this bad boy up. You will not believe how shocked my mom was to see a package come in the mail that was the biggest box she's ever seen. Alright. Still very eligible here. A little bit of scuff, but nothing too big. The inside of the box is in awesome condition. This is the uh, the filter carrier, if there was a filter. Very good condition, a little bit of decay and rust. But yet again, I think it adds character, so I'm not too worried about it. Move that over here. This is where the mask goes, as you can see. It goes in this way, clamp it down a little bit. That's a little face piece. It's supposed to help keep it shaped, but I don't like the whole fact that it coils over on itself like that. Matt, the box is a little dusty, a little dirty, but I have no real intentions on cleaning it. Like I said, it's character. Um, here's a ring I found in here. Um, I figured this ring, it's the same thing as the one in here. I figure that's just a spare one or something. I'm not exactly too sure, but it's neat, I suppose. I wonder if there's a date on here. It's weird. On this box, I could not find a date. Let's see when this mask was made. Interesting. Oh, MSA stands for Mind Safety Appliances. Oh, okay, all right. Now I know. Pretty cool stuff, I do say. Close the box back up. Set the tripod back up. So I can finish talking about this. Okay. Pretty cool, huh? Um, this will make... I... I want to figure out why they used a big wooden case instead of a normal haversack. It kind of confuses me because I'd imagine this is a lot more difficult to lug around than a little bag on your shoulder, but I, I don't know. It's still cool, so. Yep, that's the case. Um, the mask itself, I can put it, I suppose I'll put it on for you people. There's nothing, there's no filter. And doesn't matter. The straps are a little difficult to adjust, but they're not bad. It's only because it's so old. A lot of dust and dirt stopping it from adjusting. That's fine. It's comfortable, it smells kind of funny, there's nothing really in here for like your face, it's just like, okay, slap it on, good to go. The lenses are getting really foggy, like really foggy. Um, hose is very light, if I had a filter, it would probably make a big difference, but no filter, so I don't know if you can even understand me, it's... I can have a hard time understanding myself right now. It's kind of a kind of a weird mask. It doesn't really project your voice that all that well. So there you have it. Whew, that mask does smell funny. Um I decide I'm not going to be doing the whole rating system, I'm not going to rate the mask. I love all my masks equally somewhat, so 
there's no real point in me rating them. They're all awesome, so I'm just gonna go with this mask is awesome. But it's a little bit pricey. It's a very pricey mask. Um, this mask with the filter and the carrying box and all that can either, I've seen some go for $70, I've seen some go for $100, it all depends on where you look, but I got this one, alright, I'm, I'm a bit of a hypocrite right now with this purchase, I'm a, I'm a bit of a hypocrite. Um, if you watch my uh, Gas Mask 101 video, in the uh, section where I told you where not to buy gas masks, uh, I kind of bought this from one of those websites. I bought it from Etsy. It's if you haven't watched my video, Etsy is a website where a bunch of artists try to sell their stuff and whatnot. There's some vintage things, and I look on Etsy every day just to see if something pops up, and this popped up. I got this for $34. Mask, a filter case, and the carrying box. $34. I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, I know there's no filter. I don't know what my chances of coming across a filter are going to be, but it's worth keeping my eyes peeled. So, Yeah, it's pretty cool if you got... It's a little bit expensive if you want the complete one, but it's pretty cool. It's a it's a piece of history. I mean, uh, all all the masks I own, none of them were. This one's like I think this is the only one not used for like military purposes or civilian purpose. So this is the odd one out of the group, and to be honest, it's currently one of my favorites because it's just. It's so different from all my other masks. I mean, compared to all my other masks, these eyepieces are huge. These are huge. And all the other ones I have were either for civilian or military purposes. So, this is the odd one. Um, like I said, if you really want it, you can buy it. Just keep your eyes out for deals because you never know when someone's just gonna be like, hey, I don't know what the hell this is, I'm gonna sell it for $20. So, I suppose you can try to look out for that. Um, I have, I have a gas mask, um, I'll have another gas mask video sometime next week, maybe. And then I'll have one sometime the next week. I know, I'm a bit bad with these recently, I just purchased one yesterday, spent a little too much for it, but I really wanted it, so keep your eyes peeled next week, I will have another one, and then the next week I'll have another one, and then maybe the next week, I'm keeping my eyes peeled on this one. If I get this, if I get this mask. I will be the happiest collector on the face of this earth. Maybe. Maybe. So, that's all I got for you right now, so keep your eyes peeled, there will be more videos, and keep on collecting, YouTube. See ya.